Almighty never denied anybody anything is because of the wickedness of the world. That is why some people would have to go to bed hungry. And I want to say thank you so much to all you wonderful people right here in the African History Class. You can also be part of the African History Class. All you need to do is to follow me on Twitter. Yes, X. My X handle is at Black Rasta. B L A K K R A S T A. Also follow us on 92.73 FM, your urban lifestyle radio. And when you um X, mm, what do you tweet? You will tweet with the hashtags, hashtag African History Class, hashtag Black Rasta, hashtag 3FM. This is the African History Class. <laughs> see so many people right there in the African history class. Thank you so much for joining us. Lawyer, type your story. Ghana's number one lawyer. I see you. Oh, Black Lion, the general, all the way from Pram Pram, now based in a shy man. Thank you so much for joining us. Ross Osage for Dua Bill. Tendan Dogo. Hey, Guma Dogo. Hey, Yen Zora Bill. Jan Uxen, ya waleta matam sanga. Ras o tu fo na na tu tu falo tu ja ja ai tu tu bigo fo mu Many more people right there in the African history class. I can see Black Sharif and I can also see Barack Obama right there in the African history class, my brother, my sister. Oh, all the way from America. Thank you so much. And I want to say, Nat MWDK, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate you. Oh my God, that mercy. He's our photo archivist right there in the African history class. Daniel Kwame J is our Proverbs master right there in the African history class. We want to say thank you so much. We appreciate you and we love you. Many more people right there in the African history class. Can you see who I see. I see you from a president of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama. Thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate you and we do love you. Hey, I see you. Hey, hey. Empress Gassi B, I see you. Empress uh, uh, Kayleen Koko K. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Uh, Fig Bob Bavo, here you are, Jigda Creation. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Fisa Iram, we appreciate you. <laughs> Many more people right there in the African history class. I want to say thank you so much to you, Nana Konedu Ajima and Dr. Rollins for joining us. Oh, IGP. Oh, Dr. Dan Parry. Thank you so much for joining us. Standing ovation for all these wonderful people. <laughs> Many more people right there in the African history class. I want to say thank you so much uh, to you and to you and to you. Chucky Popke, thank you so much. Uh, Sammy Ban Flex, I see you too. Thank you so much for joining us, Black Bingy. Oh, the Italians coming all the way from Begro in the eastern region of Ghana. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you and we love you. Buhari, the AC specialist, I see you. I see you. Last copy, Trotro driver inside Awoshi. Victor, formerly of Xylophone FM. My brother, my sister, thank you so much for joining us. Mighty Don Duvaste is the Mark Kuchoko engineer. I see you, Eugene and Eugenia and Pipra. Thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate you and we do love you. Many more people right in the African history class. Can you see who I see? I see this person right in the African history class. Oh my God, have mercy. Can you believe who is in the class? I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you and I certainly love you. Senior man Pam is in the class. Thank you so much. Kofi Odenchem, I see you too. Thank you so much. We appreciate all you wonderful people right here in the African history class. Many more people right here in the African history class. And if your name has not been mentioned, please feel no way. Hey, I see you, Cynthia. Mm -mm -mm. Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us right here in the African history class. We love you and we appreciate you. And today appears to be your birthday. I would like to announce your birthday right now. Oh my God, have mercy. A very wonderful woman. Oh my God. Also in the African history class. We want to say thank you so much for joining us. Not many elderly women like this join us in the African history class. My brother, my sister. So when you, we see somebody like you, we are overly excited. And we want to say happy birthday going out to you. Oh, yes. Naima Nete. Naima Nete. Oh, my God. You happen to be the mother of Sandra. Ah, uh, Mrs. Lagazi. This one goes out to you. Naima Nete. Happy birthday going out to you. And you are at Gloryland Hotel. Gloryland Hotel. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. This is... The African history class, and I'm most excited. Now, today is a very
very important day is the fourth day of August. How many people know that? Today is the fourth day of August. Yes, uh, I want to say thank you so much to you, JK, JK of JK Engineering. Thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. Precious, I'll see you too. Thank you for joining us right here, the African History Class. We love you and we appreciate you. This is the African History <laughs> Today, several years ago, African people put themselves on the map of history. Now, this is what is referred to as today in African history. Now, today in 1582, the Gregorian calendar was introduced by Pope Gregory. Yes, Pope Gregory the 13th. Pope Gregory the 13th. Today started the Gregorian calendar. Today in 1582. <laughs> And that is the calendar we use in Ghana, right? Okay, today in 1957, same year this country became independent, Sputnik 1 became the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth, Sputnik. And today we have Sputnik V. Do you all remember? Sputnik V. Oh my God, that mercy. Today in 1963, Hurricane Flora killed 6,000 people in Cuba and Haiti. And today in 1966, Basoto land became independent, as we mentioned to you earlier. It's now called Lesotho. Today in 1992, the Roman general Peace Accord ended the 16-year civil war in Mozambique. And today in 1993, the Battle of Mogadishu occurred and killed 18 U.S. Special Forces, two U.N. peacekeepers, and at least 600 Somali militia men and civilians. Today in 1997, the second largest cash robbery in the U.S. history occurred in North Carolina. 17.3 million American dollars in cash was robbed from the Charlotte North Carolina uh, Regional Office Vault of uh, Loomis, uh, Fargo and Co. My brother, my sister, on the evening of October 4, 1997. And how much money was involved? Almost 20 million American dollars. The biggest bank robbery in American history happened today in 1997. And today in 2006, WikiLeaks was launched. It is a publisher and media organization founded in 2006. Today, it operates as a non-profit organization and is funded by donations and media partnership. The media house created a lot of controversy when it started releasing some American cables. <laughs> Now, today in 2017, a joint Nigeria-America Special Forces uh, were ambushed by Islamic State militants outside the village of Tongo Tongo. My God have mercy. Did you know that there was a town in Nigeria called Tongo Tongo? I beg your pardon, Niger, called Tongo Tongo. So a joint Nigerian and American Special Forces uh, got ambushed by Islamic State militants outside the village of Tongo Tongo. This is the African History Club. And today, I have a very interesting story that students will be so interested in listening to. Sally, are you ready? Amaka, are you ready for the class? Okay. Today, we are telling the story of a great man. You have never heard this story. Students, today we are telling the story of Abram Petrovich Gannibal. Abram is spelled A B R A M. Abram Petrovich is P E T R O V I C H. Petrovich Gannibal is. G A double N I B A L. And this is the photograph of our hero. He was born in Addis Ababa. You would call it Addis Ababa. Correct pronunciation Addis Ababa. The beautiful flower. My brother, my sister. He was born in Addis Ababa. And he was born to a royal king. His royal majesty. Right there inside at this Abeba. Brother, my sister, he was born circa 1696. 1696 in the 17th century. And see what happened. 
He was a little boy growing up in the palace of his great-grandfather. He came from the royal family of the Ethiopian monarch. At the time, the Turks attacked Ethiopia and they were trying to enslave a lot of people. And my brother, my sister, the Turks were fought. I'm talking about the Ottoman Turks. They fought so hard to be able to take over Ethiopia. But the monarch and his soldiers stood very firm and also fought back. They fought very, very hard. Unfortunately, the monarch was killed. The father of our hero for today, Abraham Petrovich Ganibal. When his father was killed, he was only a little boy. As a little boy, my brother, my sister, he was abducted by the Turks, people from Turkey, and carried all the way into slavery. At birth, his original name was Ibrahim. Ibrahim. But in slavery, he got known as Abram. As a little child, he was taken to Russia. And in Russia, my brother, my sister, he had royal blood in him all the way from Ethiopia. And he became the slave to the Russian monarch, Peter. So he became known as Petrovich. Look at the interesting thing that happened. From one royal family to the other royal family, from the Ethiopian monarch, he went into the Russian monarchy and he became the slave of Peter the Great. My brother, my sister, Peter loved him. In fact, he loved him so much. He decided to take a very special care of him. As he was growing up, he freed him as a slave and sent him to France to go and study. When he arrived in France, he went to the city of Metz where he studied very, very hard. My brother, my sister, he studied like a crazy man. In Russia, his color was a problem to so many different people. But to Peter the Great, he was such a special young boy from the Ethiopian monarchy. He treated him with so much love, sent him to school in France. And in France, he excelled in mathematics and geometry. Ah, when he completed all his studies in France, he returned to Russia with so much education and so much experience. In 1717, our hero was only 21 years old. That was when he was sent to school in Metz. And by 1718, when our hero was only 25 years old, he joined the French army. When Abraham joined the French army, my God, they realized that he was a different man. He was able to teach them a lot of engineering. He manufactured a lot of ammunition. He was able to manufacture a number of gadgets. My God, with his bare hands, he did a lot. This young man from Ethiopia, Hear what happened now. He decided to expand his learning because his godfather right there in France also got to love him so much. So he went on expanding his learning in military engineering. He enrolled in the Royal Artillery Academy at La Ferre in 1720. Our hero was only 27 years old. My God. Hi, you haven't heard anything yet. 
Hear me now. After studying so much and still in France, a conflict broke between France and Spain. And he fought in the war of the Quadruple Alliance. He fought in that war. My brother, my sister, he rose to the rank of captain in the French army. Whilst fighting in the French war against Spain, Abraham received a head injury and was captured by the Spanish army. But he was released two years later in 1722 when he was only 29 years old and he continued his studies at Metz. Oh my God. Here what happened now. Whilst he was in France, he decided to adopt the name Gannibal. Correct pronunciation, Hannibal. Hannibal. Do you all remember, students? Hannibal and the elephants. Hannibal was the man who carried elephants to war. Everybody goes to war with horses and artillery. But he went to war with elephants that climbed mountains and defeated people. He was a great man. My brother, my sister, an African. He decided to name himself Hannibal, but people spelt it Gannibal. That was how come he got his name Gannibal. He rose to a very high level in his learning and people started to consult him for knowledge. My brother, my sister, we all remember Hannibal was from Carthage and he was a war general himself. In Paris, our hero for today, Petrovich, met and befriended enlightened figures such as Baron de Montesquieu and even Voltaire. These are great philosophers. Voltaire. How many of us remember Voltaire? How many of us remember Baron de Montesquieu? Great philosophers. He met them and became friends with them. My brother, my sister and they shared knowledge. They called him the dark star of enlightenment. That was the nickname they gave to our hero for today. The dark star of enlight enlightenment. What a thing. The dark star of enlightenment. He was so studious, so brilliant. In fact, he rubbed shoulders with people like Voltaire and Baron de Montesquieu. My brother, my sister from Ethiopia, he became so learned. Listen to what happened next. Now, in 1723, he had completed his education and returned to Russia. Unfortunately, it was during the death of Peter the Great. In 1725, and Prince Menshikov became the next man in power because he was very close to Peter the Great. But Prince Menshikov did not like our hero because of his color. He also hated him because of his knowledge. He was the most brilliant military engineer in the whole of Russia and beyond. The most brilliant in the whole of Europe. My brother, the most brilliant in the whole world. Military engineering. So he decided to exile him to Siberia. He sent him all the way to Siberia. And that is the northern part of Asia. And there our hero went quietly. And listen to this sad story. When he went, he built a whole mansion for himself. In fact, a fortress. And people saw it and were like, Whoa, which king lives here? With his military engineering and knowledge in mathematics and architecture. He could build almost everything. He met. And with great men, they dined. One day, a great man spoke to him and said, You know, all these years, you've been a bachelor. Have you had sex before? He said, No. I don't know what it is. My only sex is the book and the paper. Are you serious? Close to 30 years, and you've never felt the warmth of a woman. What is wrong with you? He said, I really don't have time. 
I'm not even sure if this my thing works. Okay, let's try. Let's see whether it works or not. So this great man decided to get him a woman. And who was this woman? My God have mercy. They got him a woman by name Evdovka. Ev, Evdokia Diopa. Evdokia. Evdokia is spelled E-V-D-O-K-I-A. E-V-D-O-K-I-A. Evdokia Diopa. D-I-O-P-E-R. Evdokia Diopa. And she was a white Greek woman. She didn't really like this man. But he was rich. He was brainy. And great people came around him and loved him. So she decided to go into that relationship. But she hated his skin color and looked down on him. She would never do anything for him. And even in the bedroom, sometimes he had to beg her to undress. My God. But the interesting thing happened. She would rather go out and sleep with fellow white Greeks rather than sleeping with her husband. So when he realized it, he told his best friend who introduced Diopa to him, I don't think I need a woman. This is my thing. I don't think it's even working well. I don't enjoy it. It's not enjoyable. But he was convinced that he needed to have children who would also be brilliant like him. He said, oh, okay. So for the sake of procreation, I will have a woman. But I'm not really enjoying what you guys say is nice. My God. See what happened now. His wife became pregnant. He was expecting to have a baby. When the baby was born, the baby was all white. No black in, in the baby. All white. And he said, ah, so you see, I am not the father. I told you this, my thing. It's not working. That's one. And two, this woman has been so unfaithful to me. He reported her and she got imprisoned. In those days, infidelity, you would go to jail for 11 years. If you were a man who cheated on your wife, you go to jail for 11 years. And if you were a man, a woman who also cheated on your husband, 11 years in jail. My God. So the woman went to jail for 11 years. That was when he married again. My brother, my sister, such a great man. Russia all of a sudden realized that, hey, they needed a military engineer to be able to do things to protect the nation. But they had sent their best military engineer into exile in Siberia. They were now looking for him and crying. That was when Prince died. When Prince Meshinov died, yes, Prince Meshikov died, a woman came and took over power and she was called Elizabeth of Russia. She was the one who took over the throne and she loved this man. Invited him over and brought him all the way back. Oh yes, to Russia and found him a Russian woman. And the Russian woman was called Christina Regina Mosiobek. Um, my brother, my sister. And she was the daughter of Matthias Johan Swobeg. But she was married. My brother, my sister. At the time that they met. But she didn't like her husband. She liked the black guy. So they got married. So this is known as bigamy. Students, write that down. Bigamy. B-I-G-A-M-Y. A woman marrying to two women. It's known as bigamy. It was a bigamous relationship. How many of us remember polyandry? We will look at it later in the interim. My brother, my sister, she succeeded in doing away with her husband and then staying with a black man. And they started to make a family. 
my brother, my sister, they will remember this great black man. So many countries have tried to claim him, but his black skin could only be traced to Africa. A son of Ethiopia, he was honored only in November 2010, over 400 years after he existed. By Lafer. My brother, my sister, representatives from Russia and Estonia, the ambassador of Cameroon and the Sultan of Lagon Berni went to Lafer, France, to unveil a commemorative flag honoring Abraham Petrovich Gannibal as a graduate of the school. My brother, my sister, they will remember this great black man who used his brain, who became so studious, who even though orphaned at a very early age and abducted into slavery, he never turned back. Who even though disrespected by his own wife, Diopa, he went ahead to find love. He was a man who never considered sex because it was not part of geography and mathematics and geometry. He was only interested in books and studies. At the end of the day, he became a wonderful person. My brother, my sister, so this is a photograph of the wife that he had. A white woman. The upper gave birth to a white boy and it came out clear that she had cheated and she went to jail for 11 years. Today, my brother, my sister, we remember one of the most brilliant of our indigents. Ibrahim Hannibal. Abraham Petrovich. Papa, bye bye you. Papa, we need a big go. Papa, the big fat boy. The big fat boy, we need a man who know. We need a big go. Papa, we need a big go. Papa, we need a big go. What day? Papa, bye bye you. Oh, he died at the age of eighty-five on the fourteenth day of May in seventeen eighty-one. At the age of 85, he died in the Russian Empire. He died specifically in St. Petersburg, in the Russian Empire. Today we remember this wonderful son of the land. In fact, he left behind 10 children. The man who did not want to have anything to do with a woman. His wife was his geometry and mathematics and engineering. At the end of the day, it looked like somebody had dropped a little bit of honey on his tongue and he wanted more honey. He got busy in the bedroom, 10 solid children with his wife, Christina Regina Slobeck. May his body, mind and soul rest in perfect peace as we remember him today. In the bedding of knowledge, I ask you, now that you know what to do, be an any or 